Welcome to ESPN College Football presented by Five Hour Energy. Today, Iowa meets Arkansas State for the first time. The Red Wolves out of the Sun Belt Conference. Iowa with a win over Penn State last week. Has to be careful. They have Michigan coming in here next week. Can't look at this as a trap game. Head coach Steve Roberts looking for that from his quarterback in his eighth season. He is a native of the state of Arkansas and his teams have been bowl eligible three of the last four years. On the other sideline, Kirk Ferentz in his 11th season at Iowa. His team has won eight straight games dating back to last season. And you might recall that Iowa is the only Big Ten team that won a bowl game last season. Head coach Kirk Ferentz telling us that he really likes to use the tight ends, particularly now it causes problems for defenses because they're not used to seeing a lot of teams with tight ends. All right, so much spread game in college football. First down, here's a little end around for Paul Chaney Jr., the wide receiver who took the opening, opening kickoff back 21 yards. Got 20 on that play. Fifth play of this drive. Stanzi, all the time in the world, he has a man wide an easy touchdown for Trey Strauss. Hawkeyes on the board in their first drive of the game. Well, Iowa's been looking for a strong start from Ricky Stanzi. They sure got it here today as he completes his first two passes. This one, a touchdown shot to Trey Strauss on a post route. Stanzi four for four for 50 yards, including a 33 yard touchdown. So a rare hot start for him. Again, completing under 50% of his passes in first halves this year, but off to a hot start. Needed to complete another one here on third and 11. Steps up into the pocket as a man on the sideline and he hits him in full stride. That's Marvin McNutt with the Hawkeye touchdown. Stanzi with two touchdown throws already. Ricky Stanzi threw the perfect deep ball down the sideline as McNutt got outside release against the cover two and Kelsey McCray, the safety, just could not get there in time. Arkansas State down 14 nothing, but in the last three drives, it's been the Red Wolves who are outgaining Iowa. Yeah, yeah, I mean, you look at it right here graphically, Pam, and not a very good start. As you can see, just the nine yards, but since then, they've been able to move the football a little bit. And now Eric Allen, the redshirt freshman, comes in at center. We'll see how he's able to do in the shotgun his first snap. Boy, the redshirt freshman up against this front four. Second and nine, Leonard. Throws it into the end zone and it is caught for the touchdown. Arkansas State still perfect in the red zone this year. Tompkins beats low for the score. Penalty puts it out to the 36 yard line. First down, empty backfield for Leonard. Has time to throw and throws it right to Sash. He's done it again, Tyler Sash with his fifth interception of the season. Second and nine, stands a little pump fake, looks the other way. And for the second time today, McNutt scores on a long touchdown pass from Stanzi. <laughs> 26 yarder for Josh Rocco. A very accurate field goal kicker. Three for three on the season. Did you jinx him? I think I did. Three for four on the season. Told you that a Rocco guy couldn't kick. <laughs> Boy, he missed that one. 26 yards, a golden opportunity for Arkansas State. And the first time this season, they failed to score once they got into the red zone. 10th play of the drive coming up. Third and 11 for the Hawkeyes. Stanzi. Runs away from pressure, and that one's picked off. Demario Davis makes Stanzi miss, and Davis takes it all the way in for the Arkansas State touchdown. And this time he does from 20. 
So the short field, relatively short field, set up with the penalty after the Arkansas State touchdown results in an Iowa field goal. The 17th play of this drive coming up. A drive that is almost eight minutes long. On second and goal, another little jump pass into the end zone, and this time it's a touchdown. The tight end, Jalot, catches it with 2.01 left to go. Coach Roberts takes off his uh, headphones. Just going to watch this last play. Yeah, not much he can do right now, but yet, but pray, I suppose. Because it will take nothing short of a miracle here. Leonard gets away from Claiborne, sets his feet. The ball is knocked down, and the ball game is over.